What's up, guys? So today we're gonna be taking a look at my new plate carrier. This is the PC24 by Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Just a couple issues that I've seen so far with it that hasn't been in the videos that I've watched. Some pretty small nitpicks. Um, nothing that should probably change your opinion whether you're thinking about buying it or not. But maybe to influence some of your accessory purchases, right? So the main thing that I found so far is that the tolerances on these side buckles is just way too tight. And let me let me show you what I'm talking about here. So getting the side release buckles in isn't that difficult, at least for one side, right? So take a look, you just slide the flap inside and then click it closed. Very simple. So this she comes with the second uh, quick attach, quick release buckle. Great. So you need to get this flap slid, slid all the way in or else you're not going to be able to close the buckle. Now I've tried this many times at this point. Let's see if I can't get it in this time. You can see it's just not happening. Alright. So that's my main issue. I can't get this carrier on. Maybe it's a skill issue. Maybe it's not, right? I have this on correctly, right? This should be snug to your body. And I still have some breathing space in between my cu the cummerbund and my uh, the side of my chest, right? So I think that this could be remedied with having a more elastic material for the loop on the male side, right? Just to give it that extra flex to get in there. Because as of right now, it's just not happening. So if you're thinking about getting this carrier, don't bother with this with the buckles. Just get some tubes. So the two inch or the four inch will be fine. You can attach a four here because you have a loop down here and a loop up here. That'll work. Or if you have a placard, you do it that way, that works too. And then two inch over here, or you can attach it by moly, the four inch. Alright. So on to my next issue. This isn't really an issue, but more of a use case consideration. Alright. So my next issue with this thing is the shoulders, alright? So right now you can see I have the shoulder straps on and so on the shoulder straps, the shoulder straps are pretty comfortable. All right, I'm, I'm happy with the comfort. Um, I have 10 pound plates in here. Uh, my use case is load bearing. So I thought I would get the nice shoulder straps, right? These are about $80. So I don't regret my purchase, but I think that there's just too much excess material on these. I think that it gets in the way, especially when I'm trying to shoulder. It just kind of catches the top of that stock, right? So if you look here, there's just this excess material coming off, you know, and there's this pull tab. I don't really understand the pull tab, uh, to be honest. That's because this, I can get this off with one hand, right? It's not married very well. And that's with the wiring little loop tucked away, which is a cool, it's a pretty handy thing, right? And I think that these shoulder straps are handy all right that's the point of them if they weren't handy then well they wouldn't have a product right um but definitely consider your use case so right now i'm not doing a lot of cable management this is kind of a future proofing thing but on that i, I can't really speak to how well you know the cable management like how well that actually works i see this tube is kind of big maybe it's better for cable back that i, I digress i digress right but for the same price point, if you just want something comfortable as fuck for your shoulders, you should probably just get ice vents, all right? So make sure you're picking your products wisely, okay? Otherwise, I'm very happy with the carrier. Looking forward to getting a lot of use out of it. And uh, once I get it all built up, you'll see more of it in the future. All right, well, I, if, I, if anything else comes up, uh, I'll let you guys know and have a nice night.